Jackie Barker. Everybody, oh, disease is due to the genes. And I go, absolutely not. Less than 1% of disease is genetic origin, okay? Less than 1%. I go, well, we're living in a whole global healthcare crisis all over the planet, you know? And I love to use us as an example, being the US. I go, we spend the most money on healthcare and we got some of the worst statistics of a population sick. And I'm going, well, then the money didn't make us any better. I go, no, not at all. It just made a lot of people rich, but you didn't get well. And it was like, money doesn't make healing. Uh, and the relevance is healing is coming from us. And I go, well, go back to the moment. I said, we have 50 trillion cells. I said, there's a community of miniature people. And I go, our mind, our consciousness is a government. And I go, so why is that relevant? It's a very simple fact. If you got a good government, then everybody in the community is happy. If you got a crappy government, uh, you got a riot on your hands. And, and, and the difference is a happy cellular community is a happy, healthy human body that enjoys being on this planet. And if your government, your consciousness is not supportive of that, it will lead to a breakdown of the community. And I go, well, when my community is in harmony, harmony is health. When my community is in a state of disharmony, that's a state of disease. Uh, and, and for all the years we kept blaming disease, it's like, oh, there's something wrong with the cells, something blah, 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 not me. I'm just a victim of disease. And I go, no, you are a creator of disease. And if you know that, if you have that knowledge, knowledge is power. If you have the knowledge of how you are controlling your biology and genetics, well, then you have an opportunity to create something wonderful and happy and joy joyable. If you have no knowledge that you keep hitting your head against the wall and bouncing all over the place, thinking that, oh my God, it's running out of control. I go, no, you are in control. And, and it has to, it's all involved with consciousness. And then I go, mind over matter. Oh, that's the new agey. I go, no, man, it's not new agey. That is the most fundamental beginning of life in the whole world is that we have to own the responsibility that our consciousness is translated into our biology. A healthy consciousness, you got a healthy biology and, uh, and unfortunately a compromised uh, consciousness is not gonna produce health, it's gonna produce disease. And all of a sudden I say, well then health and diseases, you've been blaming it on the cells and the genes. I go, no, you're wrong. It's the consciousness, the government. And then you go, well, that's new age. And I go, no, <laughs> excuse me. Quantum physics, the most valid science, I'd like to acknowledge it, is the most tested and affirmed to be true by principle. Um, from day one, 1927, day one, founding father uh, of uh, quantum physics, Max Planck. I go, what did Max Planck say day one? He said, the mind is the matrix of all matter. What the hell is that? The mind is the creator of all matter. And I go, mind over matter? I go, that's exactly what quantum physics says. And that we're making matter out of our consciousness. We're making the physical world that we live in and see is an illusion of energy. And, and I go, so quantum physics has been saying that since 1927. I go, even in a recent article, and I love it because the article was in a journal called Nature. Nature, the most prestigious scientific journal on this planet, had an article from a physicist at a big university in the States, Johns Hopkins University. And uh, the physics article, it's only a one page article because it's a review basically. And I say, you can read it and it's like, oh, so it sounds like a little complicated. And I go, it might sound complicated, but let me give you a piece of information and that is this just read the last sentence. One summarizing sentence for the whole article. I said, what is that sentence? I go, right, quote, the universe is immaterial. It's mental and spiritual. Live and enjoy. That was a conclusion in a scientific article. What does it say? This is an illusion of what? Mental and spiritual activity. And I go, so why is it relevant? Well, we control mental and spiritual activity. I go, so what? Then we're in charge of our behavior, our life, our expression on this planet, our relationships, everything we do, because we've been programmed to believe, oh, we're victims of things and you're a victim. And I go, what does victim defined as? And I'll tell you what it is. 
powerless. Mm. A victim is, I, I can't control this. And therefore, then we look for outside, get you outside people, fix me up here. And I'm going, mm. no, quantum physics starts with you as the creator. And the only way we can get out of the hole is you have to own your responsibility. And I say, why is that relevant? Because there's a responsibility and understanding that your thoughts are generating your, not just inside biology experience, it's your outside reality, your thoughts. You are generating it. I go, I am? I go, well, geez, I've not been doing a good job, right? And I go, no, because you didn't have knowledge. Uh, and you know the old phrase, knowledge is power. I go, yeah, that's an absolute truism. I want to say the same thing by reversing it, but the same thing. And it says, a lack of knowledge is a lack of power. I go, 100%. I go, why? Because you've been programmed to believe that you're just genetic automatons living in a world of outside things influencing you and you're just a, a victim of the world. And it's like, well, that that's the wrong, that's not knowledge. <laughs> that's a lack of knowledge. Because knowledge, as we just said, is consciousness is creating. And I go, so why is it relevant? Well, if we stop being the victim and start taking on the role of being conscious creators, there's a world of change in front of you. Thank you so much for listening to our show. We are so thankful you are here and we can't do this show without you. And if you made it to the end of this episode, celebrate yourself because it means you are truly dedicated to feeling better in your health, in your career, in your relationships. And I am so proud of you.